So it's power level two with the Crossman pellet going through clear ballistics gel. That's 1824 on the velocity. Hammer. That's 1824 on the velocity. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so this is the pellet going uh, with the low power level at 1,824 feet per second. If you can see it, I don't know. Anyways, it does say 1,824, and uh, this is pretty impressive. I am uh, I'm surprised. I don't know what, how well you can see it on there. But uh, it looks like there's a piece of the pellet out here at about 6 inches, maybe 8 inches. And it uh, fragmented all in there. So we're going to step it up an auction. We'll see what we get. Okay, we're going to try it again with the Crossman pellet in a green power level. Trying to get in a different spot than we hit first. Wow, that's a 23.78. The pellet, or the uh, cartridge got me. <laughs> Alright, there's the, uh, the uh, green power level. You can see the little cartridge up there. And uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but we've got about that much penetration, about half as much as the other power level. But it uh, it broke up a lot. It's basically an RIP pellet, is what it is. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Like maybe maybe not as uh, expensive, uh, but we've got a better uh, the the entrance there. You, you can see it's a better, uh, perfectly round. I don't really know what was going on with that other entrance, but uh, that one's nice. <laughs> it's like a wad cutter and the velocity on that. I, I don't know if you could see it. It's a uh, 2378 and uh, Say we do a yellow. Yep. All right All right, we're back with the yellow power level and uh, a single pellet Crossman uh, hollow points uh, after the uh, After the lower power level after the green one the the uh, number three I'm kind of predicting that we're gonna get uh, similar effects except uh a bigger explosion out of it. So we'll see. Can you put put G2 out of business? Maybe. Yeah, I can hardly see the sun from where it is. Okay, that, that came in just a little above the first shot. It's almost identical to the first one. Almost you identical. From the top, you can see it pretty good. It looks yeah, I, uh, the same shape, the same penetration. Hoping you can see that, but uh, we're looking at a, roughly the same wound channel. Uh, it does look like the it fragmented it. Almost identical. I mean, I can't see any uh, appreciable difference. The, the velocity on that was uh, 2378. Uh, that's a lot less than I was getting the other day, so... We might have to take a fourth shot, but uh, yeah, that's that. pretty much the same as the other velocity, right? Yeah, I mean it's almost identical, so that's why I fragmented the same. We'll have to take one more shot. Yeah, we'll try it again and see if we can push it a little faster. All right. Okay, one more shot with a yellow power level. I wasn't too happy with the first one. Yep, it's rolling. All right, we're looking at 
Well, I can't get a good velocity on that. It But uh, that's about as good as I could place four pellets with that uh, with that gun. Um, but hey, if if you're looking at the difference between uh, RIP and this, yeah, it's really not too much different. What do you think on uh, effectiveness? Well, I mean, I've been doing various kinds of ammunition testing for months now, and I still haven't found anything I want to get shot with. <laughs> that includes a pellet behind a nail gun, a nail gun round. I don't, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd want to be shot with this either. I'm wondering if that first one might have been a fluke. It, it did hold together better. It, it, it was either the lower velocity or uh, or maybe just just chance that the pellet didn't break up. But I mean, we got enough gel. We can come in from the other end. Maybe we should take a couple more uh, low velocity shots and see if we get the similar deep penetration. All right. The only thing I worry about is shot placement, but we'll we'll go ahead and give it a try without the chronograph, so I don't have to worry about shooting my crony. All right. All right. So we're gonna try it with the uh, low power level. I'm going to try it at near point blank range to see if I can't get it in the right spot, right spot on the block. And about ready. I am ready. So point blank range with the low power level, probably going to get some peppering on your block. So you want to just step right up to yellow? Yeah. Right. <laughs> now that was different. <laughs> now that was different. at least eight eight different pieces that fragmented off eight different tiny little wing channels this is like a like the ghetto fmj or a ghetto uh, rip sorry about that <laughs> yeah um compared so these are the the top two shots that have got all the the carbon in them because i shot them a lot closer hopefully that doesn't mess up your block there <laughs> yeah you just cut it out <laughs> and uh this one uh, appears to have fragmented and uh, penetrated a lot deeper, but we're still talking, I mean, three, maybe four inches for that last uh, fragment. But some pretty extreme effects, pretty wide. If you're shooting a squirrel, you're going to lose all the meat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you've got like a rat problem, or, I mean, that's probably even better than the snake loads. You know, the little 22 birdshot snake yeah. loads? Oh, if you, yeah, Those if you hit them. go through a pop can. I mean, that's, you're talking a lot more power than that. All right, so that sounds like a final verdict on it. I'm sure people are going to want more, but uh, I just can't shoot every pellet in the world. There you go.